Hello guys, I'm fucking hell with you. I know I find a slightly better lit location. Right then, so today's beer is going to be a beer that was sent to me by Johan. It's from the, uh, you pronounce this right, uh, Amaga Brewhaus Brewery from Denmark. And this is called Frog Hops to Amago. There you go, there's the label. Quite a sort of funky, sort of retro looking label. It's quite nice actually. Um, there's nothing on the side to say, well, it's, there's no English anyway, but it is an Imperial Wheat Stout which comes in at, sorry about this, 8%. That's right. I'm gonna put a bit more bump in the um, description if you want to look up on it and stuff, and like maybe a link to the to the website. But yes, yeah, so this is the first time I've ever had a wheat stout, let alone an imperial wheat stout. So this will be quite interesting. Uh, 2014 bottling as well. So let's get it in a glass. Okay, coming out very very thick. Okay, let's get that there. So, I won't show you what glass I'm using because it's a bit embarrassing. Oh, I saw it. Green King IPA! <laughs> it's the only one I could find. Um, as you can see, it's a very sort of chocolatey caramel coloured head. Completely pitch black. Um, looking really, really nice. Let's give it a nose. Okay, smell wise, I'm getting more like a, um, like a dark ale. Um, Sort of raisiny, sort of sweetness. Not really getting that sort of, sort of smell of a stout. Hmm. There's some. Um, there are some milk chocolate notes coming through. But there's a strange. Um, it's going to sound really strange. It's like a, almost like a, like a plastic. Um, you know, like if you get one of those chocolate eggs with a toy in the middle. I don't know if you've ever smelt the plastic of the toy, it's like a very sort of strange, I don't know, it doesn't smell like, you know, regular plastic I suppose, but yeah, I'm getting that, a slight sort of metallic um, tinge, but a little bit of earthiness as well, but I don't know, it's quite a strange one this one, I'm not really getting too much on the nose, so let's just dig straight in, Johan, cheers mate. Mmm. Oh wow. But the taste is wow. That is completely different. Mmm. That is big boy. Whoa. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. You can tell it's an imperial style. You're getting those big hits of chocolate and coffee lovely earthy bit and I sort of sat on the back of the tongue just sort of sat there and like riding it out it's like yeah I mean oh it's gorgeous and that lovely sort of um, earthy sweetness as well which sort of builds up in the middle of your tongue and makes you sort of go like that but throughout it all you're getting that wheat which is making it a really really smooth easy sort of um, drink basically um, some Imperial Stouts make you just want to sit and savour and, you know, take your time with it because they can be quite a bolshy with the flavours. These have got the big flavour, this one has got the big flavours, but that wheatiness is making it so nice and easy to consume. You just want to take a big old wallop of it and um, and I don't want to do that because <laughs> I'll probably never get to try a beer like this, but especially from this brewery, but this is, oh, this is really good. Mmm. Just before it hits your tongue, you know it's going to be nice. You get a little bit of blackberry as well. And it all seems to be focusing on the, the front and the, the sort of like the roof of your mouth and the back of your throat. This lovely earthiness. Oh God. That is really, really nice. Um, you're also getting a bit of smoke as well. There's a bit of smoke right towards the end. It's like trickling around in your throat. 
almost like you've had a, a nice cigar and it's like the after effects you can feel in your throat. That is a really, really good beer. Um, definitely a strong 9.5 out of 10 for the uh, Frog Hopster Amager. Um, for the Amager Brujas, I think that's pronounced right. So yeah, I'm going to sit and enjoy the rest of that. Johan, thank you very, very much. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope I've done this beer justice, and I'll see you again soon for an Open Viking Hour review. Cheers!